Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, so, I should have probably ended the last episode with this, but instead we're going to start with this. So, I have a bunch of things to kind of drop off here. Assume you're saying the same. Yep. And I assume that you'll say the same. I desire honorable law. That a lord are the not bearer of the yeah. dead and till okay. we meet again. So we have a call to give Andre. Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs me? Oh my. This call is from the undead legion. Used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not a ton of lore there, but... Now we're plus three. Um... So we do have refined, or no, we don't have a refined gem, but I guess we can do refine now. That's what I want to be using. Um, also, we have an Estus flask. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty, I don't. All right, now we can give the tome to Cornix. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> Alright, so now he has Fire Orb, the signature flame manipulating spell common to pyromancers. The blazing fire orb explodes on impact, dealing fire damage to the surrounding area. They say that once a pyromancer learns the spell, their understanding of the flame deepens, together with a yearning for it. Pyromancy of Old Restored by Cornix, one of the Great Swamp's more advanced spells. A rare technique that undergoes change after leaving the caster's hand, making this a spell renowned for its difficulty. Great Combustion. Pyromancy is to at once know fear and longing, the resultant power of which depends on... Yeah, I think we might have read that, or it's similar. Here we go. Unique pyromancy crafted by Engi, a heretic inhabiting the Great Swamp long ago. Enki was driven from the Great Swamp, however, his pyromancy continues to succeed him. Perhaps dwellers of the Great Swamp were reminded that their very existence is one rooted in heresy. Aha. Uh -huh. So if they themselves are heretics, who are they to uh, make someone else a heretic, in a sense? And so his spells live on longer than he did. Uh, yep. Flash Sweat. And profuse sweat. Advanced pyromancy that internalized flames associated with Carmina. Profuse sweating temporarily boosts resistance to bleeding, poison, frost, and cure curses. The yellowish sweat cures all kinds of ailments. And he still has the same stuff. If you seek pyromancy tomes, take this sage advice. The lands of the lords converge upon Luthric. The home of pyromancy's drifts comparatively close as well. At least, that is what pyromancers of the Great Swamp believe. Hmm. The place is called Izalith. Oh, how I wish to behold a primal pyromancy. Well, these are old tales. No one knows where the truth begins or ends. 
It's interesting that they at the Great Swamp spoke about this moment with Lothric and the coming together of all the ages, that they believe a certain thing about that. If you seek the not what is it And and he goes on to kind of assume that um or t to say that like that he knows Isolith is nearby. Which is interesting. We might uh, come across it or not. Oh, champion of Ash, do you wish to hear a tale? So we don't want to give the lawn door because that's a dark tome, and uh, someone else can use this. And story-wise, I'm going to do this, but give her the one from her hometown of Kareem. Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> so medium heal. Miracles are fruit of the study of divine tales, a blessing received from the gods through acts of prayer. Miracle strength depends on the caster's faith. Tears of Denial. Miracle taught by Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle. Intended to grant the dying a few moments of a final farewell, tears are shed for the sake of the living, more so for the than for the deceased. I think that's the there's that tears shed, which means that it's associated with Kaitha, because it's associated with Morn. Um, that's kind of what we're learning. But other than that, it's pretty much the same description as tears in uh Dark Souls 2. Enforce. While it inflicts no direct damage, this miracle propels foes back. Staggering them can defend against arrows. And it does say elementary miracle among clerics. Oh, I guess that is the case. I guess emit force is the one that's non... Whatever. Oh, we also got a ring. We got a couple rings, actually, didn't we? Um, so the sage ring, a ring given to Farron's undead legion by one of the preacher twins, known more commonly as the crystal sages. That's what I meant at the end of the last episode, by the way. Crystal sage, not uh, crystal witch or crystal wizard. The sorcerers of Farron's abyss watchers were known for their lonesome warriors who would only rely upon more pragmatic spells. So there are these preacher twins known as the Crystal Sages, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna come across one in this episode. Although I'm colorblind, so that fight's not always that easy for me. Um, Aha. Yeah. Okay, what else did we get here? Just want to make sure while we're here. Spells, no. Okay. Let me just throw everything in here so it's easier to manage. Um... And one of these days, perhaps when I start leveling up other things, I can uh, start actually doing some fashion souls. You don't have to level up anything in uh, any armor in this game, which I love. It's a waste of Titanite. Um, anyway. So, is there a way to do this without getting caught by the grab easily okay so are these the ser sorcerers of the Farron Keep Oops. It's using uh, Soul Spear. 
Oops. Um, okay. We got another ring of sacrifice here. Um, again, we're seeing a lot of presence of Kareem and um, Velka around here, so I guess it makes sense. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to go fight these guys now and get this shield. Golden Falcon Shield. A metal shield fashioned in the form of a falcon with the wings outstretched. The Golden Falcon was the emblem of an ancient band of sellswords, and even to this day, many merchants, mercenaries, I say merchants because they're from Volgan, uh, many mercenaries remain who look upon it as a token of good fortune. Yeah, so this is the falconer stuff. Alright. Let's fight these guys. So the guy's kind of looking like Horus a little bit. Oops. Alright, what's my plan here? Ooh, I ran into a wall, uh, tree. This is, they're not doing a ton of damage, but I mean... sword from the uh, the scimitars or whatever wow they can come out of that so quick it's like not super punishable I'm trying to get close to it they can't throw anything. Okay. Okay, I want to grab that in case <laughs> I'm probably going to die this guy and then I'll lose this item. Okay, Exile Great Sword. Alright. Thought I'd try. I don't have poise to block that at all. Okay. No more parrying and such. Just take them out normal. Okay, and here's the great club, although we've already grabbed that, I believe. Oh, wood fashion, wood club fashioned from the branch of a giant tree. Okay, so it's war cry. Bloodstained greatsword wielded by one of the watchdogs of Farron who preside over the slumber of fallen warriors. The blade is a reminder of the exile's past misdeeds. Inhuman strength is required to wield this heaviest of curved swords. And then as a spin slash. 
Yeah, so, I mean, I guess this is if you're playing offline, you get the feeling of what it would feel like to... That's not a bad idea, actually, the homeward bone. That's where you can see the coal. I just want to make sure that there's no items I missed here. And where are we at? Oh yeah, we're good. Time-wise. I just feel like there's... Potentially an item here. I guess it's just the Fallen Warrior set. Um... It's like I rested, so that's good. All right, so where am I going here? So there's a, you can summon, don't remember where it is, but you can summon Hodrick somewhere. Okay, good if we can kill these guys in two hits now. Hondrick is over here somewhere. Is it in here? Okay. I didn't think it was in here. I figured it was down. used by generations of heretic sorcerers. Sorcery is a logical ac academic discipline, and the power of sorceries depend heavily on the caster's intelligence. With steady chant. I should find out where it is rather than just oh here. Uh yeah, that looks like him. Alright, let's try to not die. <laughs> okay. Oh come on. Oh, now that does most of my health. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, well now I gotta be definitely careful about uh, spamming him because now instead of doing a small fraction of my less health, it does all of my health. <laughs> all right. Okay, that dog's disappeared. Alright. He's still gonna parry me, I know it. I guess I should be careful before I actually summon. does all my health too. Okay, so he's just tough. Alright, so maybe this is not a fight for me right now. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, that does even more of my damage. How did that happen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. It's not prepared for this for sure. But this is, you know, I mean, I guess in a game where you can kind of steamroll through some of it, like, it's nice to have. Can't do this a ton more times. I'll do it twice more and then, uh, then we can move on. He's got his shield out. Oh, why can't I? Man, he's good. Jeez. Dude, I wonder if you get anything from him by doing this. Or whether... Alright, as I said, one more time and then we're gonna just... Surprise that actually didn't work. Oh great. Whoa. Okay. I'm not good enough for this at this point. So let's continue with the um, with the crystal mage. I guess one thing I don't love about the uh, combat in this game is that it seems to, I don't know, maybe it's just like I have to get used to it a little bit more. But, um, like I feel like a lot of it is just trying to, like, go, mm, 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 mm. just doing that over and over and over again. 
I mean, I know that, you know, that's up to me, but I just feel like some of the other tools they give you make it harder to rely on other things other than that. I mean, or, yeah, I guess that. <laughs> So with a chair made out of uh, that a crucifixion thing, we have a guy with a bunch of scrolls studying here in the Farren Keep, or the crucifixion woods. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. <laughs> what attacked? How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer with plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So, you will make me a promise. That in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge. Sure. In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? I mean, technically no, but... Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, a Vinheim, unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. <laughs> so now we have a pyromancer, a miracle teacher, and now a uh, sorcerer. Can you not get out there? I'm just thinking down stairs. Blue bug pellet. Medicinal pellet made from crushed insects, the blue type temporarily boosts magic. The Boreal Valley is infested with moon bugs. Hmm, moon in Boreal Valley, huh? Meaning ingredients are never far from hand for Erythelian uh, slaves who concoct this medicine. These guys look very similar to the guys in uh, the High Wall of Lothric. This is what I was thinking about. This is what I want to get to. So I want this guy. Crystal gem. I think there's someone following me. Introduced by, to Lothric by the Crystal Sages. Crystal weapons inflict magic damage and scale effectively with intelligence. So, yeah. The Crystal Sages certainly seem to have their influence over this area. Okay, is that it in here? So there's the boss fight. Um, so, as I say, I'm going to summon people. This is Igon, so be nice to summon. With Igon. And then down here is where we got the sage ring and such like that. You're meant to just fall down by accident. 
All right. Hopefully Ion can help me in identifying which is the real Crystal Sage, because I've heard that it's like a difference between blue and purple magic, but... Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna go in. Looked like Igon's just gonna sit there. a long time. So the way I do this is I just, okay, I just pick correctly, is I just try to, uh, I just pick one and kill it because, like, I can't tell they're Why didn't Igon come and... Like, why did Igon just sit there? It's so weird. Alright, so what we're gonna do instead is we're going to... Ugh, I can't do this. Um, we're going to put fire. <sighs> um, yeah, and I guess we're just going to try to run for it so that we can just not have to play this over and over and over again. Forget these. Oh, I didn't even see. I thought we were at to the multiple stage already. I'm gonna guess here. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that? I feel like they must like, uh, 
Like, I felt no matter how many times I rolled there, it, uh... She always struck right at the end, like, as if, like, you know. Oh, thanks for not attacking. Okay, well that definitely did work. Okay, definitely want to grab these again. Yay! I feel so accomplished. I like how all their souls are different too in this game. The the appearance. You can see like those homing soul mass around this one, like like a sage. <laughs> Okay, soul of the crystal soul, soul of the crystal sage. The twin crystal sages once served as spiritual guides to the scholars of the grand archives, and one went on to ally with the undead legion. I wonder where the other one went. So in this case, those grand archives are not the ones with Seath. That's actually a different grand archives, although it's related. Um, got some twinkling to level up my one thing. Okay, now we see an evangelist and some more of the people collecting hollows and cages. Um, I think this is just meant to be a shortcut to like get to the next area, but I'll just go the regular way and fight these guys one at a time. Stab these guys. Ugh. Didn't drop his weapon though. No, oh, I can still even fall down here and then get the drop on this evangelist. Can you not, um... Herald gear. Oh. 
Steel helm, helm said to be worn by heralds of the Way of White, who deliver commandments on, of duty. Protection made of steel has excellent physical absorption, but is found lacking against blunt strikes and lightning damage. Steel armor with pure white cape, signature heralds of the way of white. Leather gloves said to be worn by heralds of the way of white who deliver commandments of duty. Fairly plain, but made to last on long journeys. All right, so these are all just, all right. Crest shield. It's a tree up here in the top that has a bunch of tiny gravestones. And by it we get the crest shield. And we know where the crest shield is from. A knight's shield engraved with a crest. One of the enchanted blue shields. The crest shield greatly reduces dark. That's the shield we got from Oscar, from Astora. And Henri was using it. Um, Henri also said she was from a store. I don't know if we pointed that out specifically. And now it's we're at the Cathedral of the Deep bonfire. So, wow, that looked like a real person. Yeah, so I guess the Cathedral of the Deep is up there. There is some NPCs to fight here. That was luck. Oops. Oh, come on. This is definitely one of the things that I liked about this game when I first played it, is that it seemed like a lot of just like, you know, like, one-on-one -on -one fights and stuff, and there wasn't a ton of like, like, there's enemies and stuff, but like, Ugh, why do I even hit twice? But like there just seems more like PvP throughout. Like they're just random people. And, and I don't know, it just feels like it's more alive or something. Like there's just people all fighting together. Anyway. Paladin's Ashes. Looks like a hand holding a undead charm or a Lloyd's talisman. Umbral Ash of a worn out paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. This paladin paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. So I guess the Way of White wants to come in and, uh, I don't know, take over the Cathedral of the Deep? Is an issue with the Cathedral of the Deep in some way? Tight night shards. So yeah, you can see we were just hanging out in the crucifixion woods there, and now we're further away from the 
the Farren Keep with the three flames. Again, I don't know why they said just beyond the Farren Keep is the Cathedral of the Deep. Like, I don't know. There are two different directions. I mean, that is such a random point to take Henri up on, but... Also, I didn't mention, uh, but it probably should be mentioned, that um, Henri will be a, a male if you're a female character, and will be a female if you are a... She's a female in my character because I'm a male. And we get the spider shield. A shield bearing a large etching of a spider. Shields of this style are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. And you can use a weapon skill. Oh, that's why he wasn't parrying me. Sucks to have dogs and ranged in the same area. Oh wow, you could Ooh. <laughs> that was a little bit too close for my comfort. I hate that like two minutes after you hit block, it's like a hit block and something else, or dodge and something else happens and then two minutes later it does it. It feels like the time window for that is much longer. Like I feel like you, it gets canceled out on uh, regular Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 if you like do it. Like, if I were to just roll twice quick. Yeah, see, that doesn't do it. Okay, that did, though. Yeah, there. I don't know. I feel like the time there is pretty long. Nice. <laughs> Cathedral of the Deep appearing when uh, that guy starts on fire. Just wanted to grab that. So is this the Cathedral of the Deep? It's all the candles here. Oh yeah, there's some cool stuff in here actually to talk about. We're at the end of the episode here, but...
So yeah, there's it seems like some sort of cathedral here. Got the notched whip. A whip with thorny spikes that shred skin, causing heavy, causing heavy bleeding. The cleansing chapel uses whips such as these in order to produce the drops and puddles to wipe clean during its rituals. Impact. Strike from the left, evade for shields. Yeah, same as the regular whip. So maybe this is the cleansing chapel. Um, because this... Merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn. Who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> Okay, so here's someone who's calling for fire to Ariandel. And the thing I want to point out here, which is kind of interesting, is that there's this, you know, again, in the cleansing chapel, there's this, like, uh, um, that looks like a boulder shield. Um, there appears to be this kind of statue here with a bunch of robed guys. I'll call them deacons. Um, and some candles on here. But what's kind of interesting about this place is that, you know, it appears to be placed in front of another statue that exists. There is a, uh, a, a woman back here with her face covered. Could be Velka. I mean, it looks like the robed Velka with the hair, but, you know, who knows? She, He's talking about Ariandel. Wait. You've... You've the same scent as that woman. Then you must be an action one. You must be. Oh, you don't know how long I've searched... So he needs to find an ashen one in order to do something. I'm gonna light that just in case. Don't mind me, didn't mean to fall apart. Now, ashen one, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are ash, then it must be fire that you seek. It is. Yes, I'll accept this. Although... Uh, thank you. They of ash never fail. Just a moment, then. Painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. Ashes were too. <laughs> and then the ashes were too. I'm not gonna describe all this stuff. <laughs> um, although I suppose it's it's a right mystery at this point. Why? Who is this guy, and what's he doing? Um, also. Mm. There's Corvians here. Ah. 
rhyme blue moss clump. Um, yeah, so I am not obviously going to do this uh, until we've kind of beaten the game. But yeah, this is the painted world of Ariandel, not the painting world of Ariamis. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go yeah to the cleansing chapel. And we're going to ignore whatever. But we'll definitely be talking about who that guy is. I guess we don't need him anymore. Uh, who this is, or who people think it is, and um, who is in the painting, the two ashes reference, and everything. But we are going to do that at a different point. So yeah, this is not the Cathedral of the Deep. This is just the Cleansing Chapel. So we have a lot more to go through before we get to the actual Cathedral, which is pretty impressive. But anyway, thanks for watching my, uh, my walk from the Crucifixion Woods to the Cathedral of the Blue at the Deep. That's a different game and thing. Um, and uh, we'll continue here uh, next time. Uh, see you later. Bye.